Ecuador is such a treat. And in Cuenca, Ecuador, we have so many great dairy producers. So I'm gonna take you to five great traditional ice cream shops in Cuenca that you're gonna to wanna to visit. First stop, we are on Gran Colombia in the historic district. This is where the tram passes on the way to the airport. And I'm sure you're surprised that we're actually trying soft serve first. A mixed soft serve. So why would I recommend a soft serve ice cream in Cuenca? And that's because this place is called Godica and they've been around forever. They serve soft serve ice cream for $1. But what makes it so special is that they're actually chocolatiers here. So it's a really good place if you want to find affordable chocolate. Things start at 50 cents for every occasion. So you can see right here on every one, she puts a little bit of chocolate on top. Andreas used to come here all the time. He also used to bring his tours here. So if you take a city tour with him, you can ask him if he'll take you here. Mmm, oh wow, this is good chocolate. I'm only gonna eat half because I know he's gonna want some. And then soft serve, kind of just what you would expect, but soft serve is also really great. Mmm. Oh, I've got the taste of this chocolate in my mouth. Mmm, it makes the ice cream so good. This is a great first stop. Grand Columbia, you're in the heart of the central historic district. Yeah, this is a great stop for a dollar. And maybe you want to get some chocolates too because they have some truffles that look amazing. One last tip. So they also have this cake, a moist chocolate cake called Torta Mojada. But you have to come here early in the day. So it's not quite 5 p.m. yet, but they've already sold out. So if you're here early in the day and you love chocolate cake, this is the place to go. All right, if you want an inside tip, Andreas just told me right over there, that was previously where the prison was in Cuenca, and that was the guard tower, but now they put an elevator into it, and so you can go up there and get an amazing view of the city. I never like, I never like. All right, you guys know that I love Wekas, these hole-in-the-wall, family-run places. This is a Weka of ice cream, that's right. So this place is simply called Helados. There's no sign other than listing all of the fruit flavors, and it really caters to the schools that are around here, so much so that in 2020 and 2021, it had to close down, but it's back open. They make this from scratch, natural flavors. This one is Maracuya, which is Andreas's favorite, $1. Mmm, wow. This is probably the most like pungent passion fruit ice cream I've ever had. It's nice. It's a little bit creamy, almost kind of like a texture, not quite of ice cream, but almost like a ice cream cheesecake. Like it, it's not gonna melt, but the flavor of this passion, it's like eating a passion fruit. And this spot is a little bit outside the historic district, still within it but lesser visited but it is worth coming here just for this flavor one of my favorite fruits is guanabana or soursop if you've never had that i think also here it would be fantastic but if you can only get one i guarantee you you're gonna love this passion fruit so good all right andreas is trying this and he also said to me that if you like key lime pie if you get the limon it tastes just like key lime pie i am this is the best ice cream. This is the best ice cream I've had, like in terms of like the traditional flavors where you really get that fruit flavor. It's fantastic. And now we're in the El Paraiso neighborhood. You may know this because of El Paraiso Park. It's super popular. In this neighborhood, there are a lot of restaurants, cafes. None of them are very remarkable, except for this. We are at Helados La Tienda. This is the original location of this casero ice cream or homemade ice cream. And if you're a Cuencano and you're in your 30s or 40s, this is a part of your childhood. And so they have dozens of flavors over the years, but this is the most popular. It is called Amor Brujo. And what's interesting about this is that of these flavors, they'll mix some of them and they'll tell you what's in it. Amor Brujo. No one knows what's in it. After all of these years, no one knows what's in it. And so it has a number of things people guess. We even asked, I tried to pretend the tourist. No, they won't tell you what is in it. And so it's just a simple ice cream. You can now get it in Parque Calderon if you don't want to come here. They just open a location. They have a couple of others too. But I actually want to taste what this is. 
Okay, berry. Could be mora, could be strawberry. Mmm, caramel. Maybe some condensed milk. And then look, they're all there are like these dots of something in here. This is a dollar thirty-five, and it's a flavor explosion. Not of like fruit, like I had at Elados. Mmm, this is really good. If you come here, you're coming with someone, they don't want ice cream. They also have really great pastries here. They've got traditional Cuencana desserts. They also have coffee. They have kind of everything here. This place is a little bit uh, rustic because it's the first one, but I would suspect that the other places are more like cafes. But I'm so glad we came to the first one. But I wish they would tell me what's in this. I had the brilliant idea of putting the ice cream in the coffee. Mm. It's like a mocha, it's so good. They should sell half coffee with ice cream. Next up, we're at Tutto Fredo. Now, we're here outside the main park for like their flagship ice cream shop. They've got ice cream here, huge desserts. You can also eat, they've got a bakery. There's lots of things to do here. I featured actually the breakfast in one of my earlier videos about things to do in Cuenca. They also just have cones and the cone here was $1.30 and they have lots of different flavors here. So they have uh, dairy free, they have low sugar. Just ask for what you want. This is actually dairy free because I know some of you don't actually have dairy and it's a limonada de coco con hierba buena so it's a lemon coconut uh, dairy free with a little bit of hierba buena or i don't actually know what they call hierba buena in english but you find it in everything it's got like a little minty flavor so it's kind of like a a dairy free pina colada type flavor you can get tutofredo several locations around Cuenca, but also now you can find it throughout Ecuador. I haven't tried this flavor, but I've had this ice cream many times. I know it's good. Mm, this is really nice. Not too sweet, like a little bit tart with the lemon, the cocoa, the minty kind of flavor from the Yerba Buena. Only $1.30. Well, they said you're right on the park, so you can eat inside, although it is a little bit busy. It's hard to get a table sometimes. Or you can just take your ice cream out to the park. <laughs> to this bad boy. Fun fact, did you know that 74% of people who watch my last video are not subscribed? So if you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would. And if you are a subscriber, please let me know in the comments below your favorite ice cream flavor. So we are here at Monte Bianco, and that means Mount White. And so this is probably the last traditional ice cream shop here in Cuenca. And so not only do they do ice cream, but they're actually really famous for their birthday cakes. And then they make this long rolled up style cake. So they're actually really well known for their cakes and their and different treats like that. But I got the Monte Bianco Especial. This is Kinder Bueno uh, hazelnut chocolate. And then we've got some cream on top. This costs $1.70. Now, if I didn't get it with the cream, it would have been $1.30. Same as Tutto Fredo. Tutto Fredo has a lot of modern flavors and things like that. Here, they keep it very traditional. So you're gonna find a lot of local flavors and then some traditional favorites. Have a little bit of mora on the top here. That's good cream. And then this, Monte Bianco Especial. Mmm. It definitely has like that hazelnut, kind, if you like kinder candy. Well, the kinder chocolate isn't that great, but think of like a rich hazelnut kind of ice cream. Monte Bianco has locations all over Cuenca, each of them very different. We are at the San Blas location, so you've got the San Blas Church, and then you've also got the park here, but you can find these, we've walked by them a bunch of times, and I've had many flavors here, and I've got to say like all of them are good, and for $1.30 for a cup or cone, that's a good deal. I hope you enjoyed this ice cream in Cuenca video. If you did, let me know. We've talked about doing other videos like best hot dogs in Cuenca because Cuenca is actually known for hot dogs. I included them in my first wake up video and they have so many interesting kind of hot dog shops here. I've also been asked to do other things like would you like to know the best Ecuadorian Chinese, the best Chifa place? If you would, let me know. I mean, I'm always looking to share the little quirky 
Ecuadorian foods that maybe you don't think are Ecuadorian. Ice cream is definitely one of them, and then hot dogs and chipa as well too. So let me know in the comments below. And I'll be back next time with more food from Ecuador. Join my Patreon community for more behind the scenes and exclusive content you won't find elsewhere. You can also find me on Instagram and be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All of these things make my day. Thank you so much for your support.